Hello, this is Sim Racing Corner. A while ago, I published a video passing along a tip of the best time of the year to buy SSDs to get the best bang for your buck. Over the years, I've been upgrading to higher capacity SSDs as my storage requirements have increased, hence that video, and I've been left with some now unused but perfectly good drives. Someone left a comment on that video posing the idea I could install a PCI Express expansion card so I can use those unused drives. And uh, that was a great idea, so after some quick research, I discovered the Sedna PCI Express dual SSD adapter. So this is a short review for this hardware. I've had it installed for about a month now, and off the bat, it's been working perfectly during this time. One of those SSDs is used for all my video editing, so it gets plenty of use every day, and um, any problems would have been very obvious by now, so no problems at all. The expansion card is plug and play. I don't know what's included on that small CD-ROM that's in the box. No driver was needed, so I didn't even try finding out what's on that disc. The two drives do show up in the system BIOS, so they can be used as boot drives. So basically, the SSDs are functioning just like any of my other drives running off the motherboard SATA ports. Some technical specs next. This adapter is compatible with Windows XP and upwards, Linux and Apple Mac computers. There's no hardware RAID and the maximum supported capacity is 4 terabytes. I don't know if that's combined capacity of the two attached drives or two 4 terabyte drives. The manufacturer details on Amazon do not specify that but that does state that's what they've tested it up to. Moving on, I prepared some simple file transfer tests. A folder with 10 gigabytes of videos was copied between the two SSDs installed on the dual SSD adapter and also copying that batch of files between one of the drives on the adapter and over to an SSD connected via the motherboard SATA port. And finally, as a control, comparing the copy speed between two drives hooked up to the motherboard SATA ports. My SSDs are a mixed bag of brands, but they are all SATA free drives, so it should be a fair comparison, and here are the results. So, copying files between the two drives plugged into the Sedna PCI Express adapter is slightly slower, which maybe should be expected, but performs well in all the other tests. Some comments on Amazon were suggesting poor transfer speeds, but I don't think these results paint a terrible picture. And running applications and games off the Sedna PCI Express adapter mounted SSDs is just as quick as running games and applications off the motherboard SATA ports, so it's absolutely fine. Before we finish things off, here's what it looks like installed in my PC. At 22 and a half centimeters, it's not much shorter than my graphics card, so it does stick out, but there is no sagging as it is thin and light. But if you are doing some work on the inside of your PC, I would suggest you do remove the adapter while tinkering around inside, um, as it does hang off that small PCI Express slot at one end, and the adapter does flex if you poke at it, so not the most robust component if you are to bash it around. Also, with my motherboard, I had to use the PCI Express slot one up from the bottom, as the overall length of the adapter led it to rub up against some cables otherwise. So some small details to consider when deciding to buy this adapter, but otherwise it's working just great. And there you have it. That's my short review for the Sedna PCI Express dual SSD adapter. I hope you found this useful and don't forget to smash the like if you did. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and bye bye.